Hello, I'm Carmen Williams and this is part two of our complete solar powered bug out trailer. As I promised before, it's to show you how I made my solar panel supports. So I've just got a little small version for you and I'll put it together for you. First thing you're going to need is four 90 degree elbows, two T's that would actually be a, a half size bigger than the 9 degree elbows, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. And then two end caps. What I did, I took, I have half inch PVC, and then I also bought three quarter inch thin wall PVC, and you'll see how it all fits together. So here we go. You take the This is the half inch, so you can see we put the 90 degrees on each end. Same thing here. So you should end up with something like that. These are the sides going out. Now make sure you measure for the size panel you have. I want to be real careful on that. This I made, actually I made this little support for two 6 watt Coleman uh, uh, solar panels to charge my, you know, keep a charge in my battery. So all just goes together nice and neat. Now naturally you probably want to glue it. I'm just going to set that here. Now here's the three quarter thin wall PVC. It just goes in like this. You have two. And they're cut a little shorter than the, when I put it together it should be a little shorter than the uh, top bar. Take this, slide it over, just like that, reattach, so now I should end up with something accordingly. Come on down, this is still the three quarter inch. Now I want to make sure it's shorter than the height. Put your end caps on. You don't have to have them. I'm doing it mainly just to keep water and mud and bugs out of it. And at that point in time, you are done. So you can get your angle, you can set it there. So for the larger panels, I'll show you what I did. I just did a bigger version using. Uh, one inch PVC and one and a half inch PVC. If you'll follow me, and then all I had to do, I just took it and painted it black. So you can see what we end up with. And I actually put some cord at the bottom so I can stake them down in case it's very windy, so they don't slide apart or, get, or blow away. That way, you can easily put it at whatever angle you want. That's it. That's about as simple as it goes. I think it's a great design. Give it a shot. It's really, really cheap. And the nice thing is that it works. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed part two.